This is Dabu7, and we have some very interesting new details here to add to this comet Atlas that will be passing so close to Mars, it's virtually going to be passing through its atmosphere. Way less than 1 AU, it's going to come close to Venus as well, and very close to Jupiter before it gets out of the solar system. This is three planets that this mystery object is going to skim. The odds of that, truly astronomical. As you can see here, it's going to come extremely close to Jupiter before it exits our solar system. The newest data pointing to an artificial metal being discovered in mass on this comet. By and large, it's nickel that it's producing. And they're saying that this is connected to a type that they would see on an industrial level, a technological level. And that the iron that you should see there with this that's being kicked out is not there. Another oddity. Now, we also know that this thing has this thin, like carbon dioxide membrane around it, around the coma, and that it's missing a lot of the carbon monoxide and water that you typically see in a comet. With that said, a normal comet should off gas greatly around the sun and be affected by the sun, unlike a Muamua that went by and showed none of these characteristics, the first interstellar object. This thing, if it does off-gas from behind the sun, could make the sun look two or three times the size of what it seems. An illusion, if you will, but it would be nothing but scattered light all around it from the backside as this thing hits perihelion, because it will be at that vantage point for us here on Earth. So you can't take away any of these facts that this thing is strange and that it's not behaving thus far like a normal comet. The size of the coma itself being half the size of the sun, this material should already be being pushed way back behind it, forming, forming a large tail, which we don't see. We're just starting to see this small stubby thing come off the back, which anything moving through space should have some sort of something trailing behind it. Uh, and we're seeing a small one here in these images. But for what it's worth, very interesting that the new data is pointing to an artificial metal, nickel, of a technological or industrial origin, large scale, meaning that this thing is comprised of a lot of nickel and in a way that's not natural. This just adds to the speculation and to the talk that this thing is out of the ordinary for sure. I'm going to leave links. I'm going to update on this during the live shows. So make sure to join me where I have time to talk about this in greater detail. Going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on Dabu 77. I hope to see you there. Eyes to the skies.